going live. You're live! Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Scarlet Nexus on the GTX 1050 Ti, 570 and 1650 Super. How are you guys doing? So today I wanted to start a little bit earlier and uh, I wanted to double check if there are any subtitles, apparently not, which is pretty unfortunate. Still doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the subtitles for me so there are no real-time subtitles apparently which is not great thanks YouTube for not working as you should probably going to start streaming at 4k later on if the subtitles doesn't if the subtitles do not work apparently my phone they're not showing up so uh, yeah pretty disappointed buddy hey, what can you do what can you do Clicked for the waifu in the thumbnail. Well, good, good. That was the idea. <laughs> I need I need audience retention. Retention. I need audience retention, man. So waifus are necessary. They are a necessary... Well, they're not a necessary evil. They're a necessary good thing. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome. Love seeing you here. How's it going? What's up, man? Doing well. Doing well. What about you? Gladly doing well. All right. So, spell our Lord is well optimized. Good, good. Yeah, I mean, this is an Unreal Engine 4 game, so I was expecting that. Uh, very few options, though, considering it's Unreal Engine 4. There is no effects thing, there is post-processing, there is shadows, there is resolution. But good thing there's unlock frame rates in a Japanese, from a Japanese publisher and developer. I think they are all Japanese. No, you're not late, you're here just in time. Just in time. But one second guys, I'm going to check super quickly the latency. Okay, there is 20 seconds of latency between you and me guys, so that's a lot. But uh, that's fine, that's fine, I'm guessing. Whatever. For some reason the subtitles do not work at 1440p. I'll have to do 4K live streams then <laughs> to give that a shot. Anyways. So let's start right away. We're using the highest settings on the 1050 Ti. Again, Unreal Engine 4 game, so should be alright. So I'm going to be using a PS4 controller for this since, you know, a controller is good in third-person action games. So, new game. Okay, waifu on screen, perfect. And not waifu on screen. Let's go with the let's go with the gal. That's usually better for audience reten retention, so let's go. Tan temprano, loco, sí, temprano. Hoy temprano salió. Hay que arrancar el viernes con fuerza ahí. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, today I'm doing it earlier, and thank you so much, Kevin Mayen, for the two dollars donation. He says, "What is the normal temps for 3080 Ti?" I'm worried. I mean, in general, for GPUs, as long as you are below 80 degrees Celsius, you should be okay. But what's the temperature on your 3080 Ti? You shouldn't be worried. In general, I mean. If it goes too high, the GPU will go to a lower frequency to protect itself. And if that's not enough, the PC will shut down at one moment, so you shouldn't be worried. Should be okay. And thank you, man, for the donation. I appreciate it a lot. Super appreciate it. Guys, this is a cutscene, I think. So probably not going to run like this when we are into the game. 83C is safe temp for 3080 Ti. Yeah, it should be okay. Are you going to do No More Heroes benchmark? Yeah, but in separate videos, won't be live. I mean, those are very old games. They should be running okay, so we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we can skip, wonderful. Thank you. Okay, we're into the game. And this is a tutorial, so... This is Code Bane 2. Yeah, I thought the same. Maybe it's Code Bane 2, who knows. Okay, so far it controls pretty well. We're at 60 frames per second on the highest setting, so good. And it looks pretty good. I'm liking the aesthetic 
considering his um, anime thing, anime thing in 3D, it looks pretty good. Again, Unreal Engine 4, so yeah, those shadows so look so Unreal Engine 4. But I mean, Code Vein ran okay. Okay, it ran pretty well. So this is no, no surprise, I think. Uh, do you watch anime? No, I don't. The last, the last anime I watched was Dragon Ball Z and Naruto when I was a child. I don't know if that's considered anime. What do I have to do? Huh. I should have paid attention, I think. <laughs> Hi man, I came here after Should You Play to recommend watching since a month. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, Should You Play is a great channel. Psychokinesis attack. Oh, okay. If I, I have to hold the button and I'm good to go. Lock onto an enemy, then to disengage. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Classic way to fight. But I like the telekinesis thing. Boom. There you go. Car into the face. <laughs> Montana is my favorite anime. I don't know what that is, so... <laughs> but good to know. Good to know. Dragon Ball Z is the anime. Okay, gotcha. Opinion in Windows 11. It's a glorified Windows 10 update, but it has some good stuff that I like, the direct storage. So games will be loading super fast when the developer puts the, um, the feature in. So as long as it's good for gaming, that's perfect. I mean, it's like Windows 10, but it has some... Welcome tweaks. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Windows 11 because I'm a gamer. You know how it goes. Man, your chat is funny. LOL. Well, good, good. That's the that's the idea. Can you please do the intro? Yeah, sure. Hello everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm gonna be testing Scarlet Nexus on the GTX 1050 Ti, RX 570, and 10 and 1650 Super. <laughs> Hannah Montana is a live-action TV show from Disney. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I was a child when that was a thing. So I tend to forget. I get distracted pretty easily. Okay, I can change lock on. I know that. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let's a slash attack. Okay, we can do some air combat. Good. This reminds me of when you hold triangle in Devil May Cry. This kind of attack. That in Devil May Cry you just uppercut them with your sword and boom, they're in the air. The TPM 2.0 thing sucks for budget gamers, well, but it will get more common as time goes on. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice things for the greater good, I guess. <laughs> if it means better performance in the future, come me in. But I mean, that doesn't mean that Windows 10 won't, won't be supported. It will, it will be supported for another four years, so... In four years, you should be able to upgrade, I think. You bought it, will you compare it or just performance test? Now I'll be doing performance tests as usual, so... Don't worry. We are... We're doing 750 Ti after this. After this. After this livestream is done. Triangle for special attack. In an enemy greatly recovers the psychokinesis gauge. Okay. So I attack them until I feel my psychokinesis thing. Oh, there we go. Never mind. It was a combo thing. And hang on, my control is drifting. The right analog sticks. So hang on. Going to hit it into the table. <laughs> there we go. Sorry for the gore and violence with my controller. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Now it works. Yeah, not sure why. Maybe the <laughs> the stick is kind of doing not doing its job properly. So, apologies. So, do you think AMD FSR is good or bad? It's good. I mean, it's a uh, it's free performance. You just lose a little bit of image clarity, but I don't know. It's good to have options. Defeat the enemy with... yeah, I already did that, good. Windows 11 versus Windows 10 test performance test coming. Still a while, a while back, a while to go. We need like... well, it'll start being an update for everyone starting 2022. So we have more than six months away. 
Well, we're like six months away, so we'll see. Probably not, because I, I don't like swapping operating systems for comparisons. It's, it's a lot of work. And there's people that do that better than me, so... I'd rather stay on Windows 10 for now. And then when it's mainstream, we do Windows 11. But it shouldn't be a huge difference, at least not in the games that already exist. Maybe it is, who knows. Poor controller? No, poor me that I bought a controller that doesn't work properly. Windows 11 felt like if Windows 10 and Mac OS had a baby. I heard rumors that you can probably make it look like Windows 10. So, shouldn't be a big problem. So, yeah. Interesting, I'm also testing this now. The game is super well optimized, open world moment is just up ahead in 10 minutes. Well, thanks, Benchard, for the heads up. Yeah, I'm waiting for the open location. So, let's go. Windows 10 already causes problems in performance on Need for 11. Uh, I think that sh you should inform yourself better. I mean, if it means more improvements to how the operating system works, I'm all for it. Okay. The game looks fun. Yeah, the, it controls pretty well. It feels like Devil May Cry make, meets uh, Dark Souls-ish. So you have the lock-on system from the usual third-person action games, but it controls like Devil May Cry. So good. Good. It's annoying how Sony won't acknowledge the joystick drift problem. All the companies have the drifting problem so far. So yeah. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, we don't care. Close. Okay. We're in. Now that we can use Brain Talk. Oh man, Brain Talk. When they say that it reminds me of the nano machines in. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5. Sorry, Metal Gear Solid in general. That they can just put the hand here and speak right away. Okay, so far so good. Runs amazingly well. 60 frames on 1080p. And this is the open area, I think. Let me double check the... If there's a map or something. There we go. Okay, doesn't feel like a huge area to me, so let's move around. Is super resolution on? Guys, Fidelity FX super resolution is not in every game. Please, inform yourselves. This is code Bane Risked. Yeah, but it looks good. So far I'm liking the visuals. Yeah, it looks good. The third party controllers run longer than Xbox and PlayStation controllers. Good, good. That means that you can probably pay a little bit less, well, sometimes they're super expensive. But I mean, if I need to pay more to get a working controller that lasts longer, I'd rather do that, honestly. Why bother buying a controller if you're going to get drifting eventually? No worries, no worries. You'll be fine, man. I'm just... I just out outburst in anger because... People are assuming that everything has FSR. And I'm tired of that. I mean, I read that yesterday 25 times. And, you know, I'm just tired of, of hearing that. I like the style. Yeah, same. I'm liking the visuals so far. Looks good. And it performs great. Can I give us a RAM handle 60 frames of that? Let me check. Uh, the RAM is below 6 GB, so you should be alright. Just make sure it's on dual channel. Dual channel. It's a must. Too bad music is disabled. Yeah, I always turn it off because why bother with that if I can get copyrighted? For no reason whatsoever. So I don't take any chances with music anymore. I mean, I'm here for the gameplay, not to review the music and... All that. Santiago, do you have a PS5? No. I only have a Nintendo Switch Lite. Okay, some combat. Good. More combat. Give me that. Yeah, even when effects show up, it's over 60, so... Hopefully it stays that way. But, you know... 
gotta play a little bit longer to find out. Good morning, we're still drinking mate, not today. Not today. My stomach wants won't allow it for a little bit, so no mate today. Sorry. <laughs> Is it working with those seven? I don't know. If I told you not knowing, I wouldn't be knowing. Like jelly. Mmm, delicious. I can just heal myself. Makes sense. Yeah, guys, um, is this game from the same people that made Code Vein? Because it feels very similar visual style. Well, the visual style is basically Code Vein 2.0. But is it the same developer? I know that the publisher is the same, but the developer... What about it? Is it the same or not? Do you think that this game is playable on 3200G Vega 8? Yeah, it should be okay. Should be fine. Just play at 720p. You should be good to go. If you're aiming for 60 aiming, you probably can do 720p lower settings or 60 frames. Why do you use the Japanese dev? Because why not? I mean, it's anime. I I rather have Japanese voices. It's just out of the ordinary, and I and I don't understand a single word. So that's perfect. I don't get distracted. I can only get distracted with you guys. <laughs> All right, hang on. While I'm fighting this, let's show you the options menu once more, so I can start recording. Oh, never mind. I won't be recording this. One thing that I was going to show you, camera motion blur is disabled. I forget to mention that. I don't like motion blur in general. So as you can see for the graphics, everything is maxed out. We're okay on 1080p maximum. No V-Sync, of course. Does this support 21 by 9? I'm not sure. I don't know. Probably not. But who knows? Maybe it does. I think there was people on Steam complaining about that it didn't have ultra wide support. But don't quote me on that. I, I do not know. Oh hang on. I can I can check that one second. I think I can do an ultra wide resolution on this capture card. No. No, there is no Yeah, I'm noticing very few options for resolution, so I don't think 21 by 9 is supported on this one. Yeah, there's no in-between be between 900p and 720p. There is very few things. So I'm guessing that no. In general, in this capture card, it shows up when there's ultra-wide. So it doesn't appear to have ultra-wide support. You can overclock the 1050 Ti with 200 cores, 700 memory, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, it really depends. Sometimes that's not enough. That's not enough. That doesn't work properly sometimes it's all silicon lottery at that point do you play genshin impact i played it for a live stream but never touched it again i did a perfect dodge yeah yeah okay i love when games have that feature the perfect dodge is super fun to learn the timing plan to get a ryzen 3 3100 for five months now but the prices are way overpriced well yeah it happens Nowadays Intel is cheaper, which is hilarious. It used to be the other way around. <laughs> Brain points. I need those in real life. Oh god. Let's save the progress. Thank you. Let's save. I have never seen a single human who used motion blur. Well, then you haven't watched Digital Foundry. <laughs> yeah, those screen space reflections really show. <laughs> when you're in front of them. What can I buy in the shop? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, healing items. Yeah, I don't care about this. Let's get healing items. I don't trust my my skills or lack thereof. So there we go. I cannot run. Oh, there we go. Just like near Automata, you have to dash and you'll start running. Good, good. Motion blur mainly exists for consoles. Yeah, in general, when they are going for 30 frames, they force motion blur on you, so it looks smoother. 
but I like um, pair object motion blur, but not camera motion blur. That's the one that bothers me. So yeah. Do you always play games like this, like not watching the cutscenes or scripts, or is it just to demonstrate performance? No, I do not play games like this. This is only to test performance. Yeah, exactly. Because it doesn't have any relationship with the performance in general. And I need to advance as quick as possible to get to the demanding area, so... No, I never play games like this. I usually watch cutscenes, I read uh, logs, all that stuff. I look at those. Those things. So yeah, no. ¿Qué tal el juego? Por ahora bien, bastante entretenido. Parece como un Devil May Cry, pero mezclado con con algunas mecánicas de Dark Souls, me hace acordar. Así que es como un Devil May Souls. Ya. Yeah. Ha, huh, over 60 on highest settings. Perfect. My monitor can display over 60 anyways. Good. All right. I'm waiting for this cutscene to finish. Sorry guys, no music. You know, I want to be safe with copyright. Cutscenes are 24 FPS. Yeah, but this is a video. This is not even real-time cutscene. It's a drawing. So, <laughs> I mean, you always watch movies at 24 FPS. So, in this case, it's alright. It doesn't bother me. This is 1050 Ti. It performs better than I expected. Yeah, 1050 Ti. Exactly, sir. You got it right. Uh Huh, over 60... Oh, I already read that. Sorry. <laughs> I hate it when a game is 50% book, but I also don't read. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's something interesting, like in control, I'm I'm fine by reading. So yeah, Scarlet Nexus! Yay! Phase 1, searching for freedom. Kassain experience, experiences his for actual battle. Bueno, si es una mezcla de dos juegos que me gustan, Mercy... Me gusta inmersive. Me sirve. Ah, cualquier cosa de. Okay, so this is now the open world, I think. Anime at 60 looks weird. Yeah, too smooth. You got that right. Okay, we save here once more. Yeah, we override the data. Saving. For how many years will 6 or 12 thread processors give 60 plus FPS? Impossible to know, man. I mean, I might as well give you the lottery numbers. And that will be just as difficult. So where to? Let's go to the construction site. What's about games and construction sites? Especially anime titles. What do, what do they have with construction sites? I mean, I feel like I'm playing Code Bane now, when I'm in the construction sites. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this reminds me so much of Code Bane, which makes sense, I mean... It's from the same publisher. Sí, obvio que hablo español, o sea, es mi lenguaje nativo. Alright, so 1080p is fine, at least right now. It's good. Oh, look at that pop in, holy hell. That's noticeable. Not sure if you guys can notice. Look at the stuff into the distance. Let's walk away. Boom, pop in. Yeah, look at that. Very subtle, very subtle level of detail there. I just walk right into it. Pop in. Another machine, pop in. Yeah, love that. So, anyways, 1080p appears to be fine. Let's go 1440p. So, yes, please. 1440p. And let's aim for 60 frames. So we're going to lower, well, there's very few settings, so we don't have a lot to work with. When are you going to change the GPU? Eventually. I need your patience for that. So post-processing, let's put it on medium. Let's see if it improves. Okay, there's an improvement. We jumped all the way up to 51. Shadows on medium, let's see that. So 51 FPS now, 53. Yeah, doesn't change that much. A couple extra frames. Low post-processing. Okay, yeah, post-processing is the biggest difference so far. 
All right, we're putting everything on low. But I mean, guys, this is 1440p, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't disable shadows here. Look at that. It looks super flat. There is no character shadows. I'm going to disable anti-aliasing. It will look terrible without anti-aliasing, but hey. Yeah, there's not a lot that you can tweak. Personally, in this game in particular, I'll just keep with... I'll just keep TAA. Shadows on medium. Post-processing on low. Although you can do shadows on high, it will run almost the same, so... Post-processing is the biggest difference so far. So let's keep it on max for now. I mean, the, vi the difference was like 10 FPS between the lowest and the highest. Anyways. Anyway. Oh man, I'm so used to saying anyways. But anyway. <laughs> Looks interesting, might give it a try. Yeah, go for it, man. So far it's interesting, but we'll see. We'll we gotta keep playing. I like this telekinesis thing going on. That's interesting. But I mean this is a 1050 Ti playing a new game at 1440p max settings over 30 frames per second, so good first impressions. I kinda face the issue of screen tears in my 1050 Ti. Do you know how to fix without a V-Sync? There are many options, many alternatives. The best one is having a free sync monitor or a G-Sync monitor. Or try fast sync, sometimes that's a good idea. Okay, I feel like I'm in a fighting game now, look at this. Look at this power. <laughs> I'm in anime, I'm in a fighting game. Let's go, fighting game. Yeah, I'm not sure what that does, but it reminded me of Marvel vs. Capcom when the character just does a an expression before attacking. Santego, do you have an RTX 3080? I do not. Too expensive. Tales of Arise will be Van Dynamicon's main game this year. Good. Hopefully I can check it out. Hopefully. How tall are you? I'm 6 feet. Or 183 centimeters of height. Just to clarify. Don't want you to be confused <laughs> with other lengths. If you know what I mean. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Yeah, I'm liking the telekinesis aspect. Pretty fun, so far. What's on the 3080 and imaginary GPU? Well, yeah, anything over the 20 series cards from Nvidia, it's an imaginary GPU. Nowadays, at least. Nice, got it. It looks so sharp at 1440p. I love when these styles of games are on a high resolution. They just look so sharp and awesome. It's like watching a show, controlling a show, an animated show in real time. Same happened to me with Code Vein. It had pretty good visuals at very high resolutions, like 1440p, 4K, super sharp. Lesson to the eyes. Uh, okay, got shocked. Yeah, whatever, doesn't matter. Hopefully I can wake up. There we go. I'm going to lock onto this enemy and do this the Marvel vs. Capcom attack. Huh. The UI is cool, I guess. Yeah, the UI looks good. It's like super digital, cyberpunky UI. But yeah, I like the visuals. On games that have uh, cell shading on high resolutions. Same happens with Borderlands. Borderlands at 4K looks great, super sharp. You're Spider-Man, right? Yeah, but don't tell anyone. I wish I was. Well, not really, it would be a huge responsibility. Like my uncle used to say. All this radio communication definitely reminds me of Nier Automata. Well, I mean... 
Makes sense. It's a very popular game, so I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, even this, the dashing and then running, that in running like that, it feels super near automata in that regard. I mean, you can see the inspirations everywhere. I mean, yeah, in near automata, I was spamming dodge while running like this. So, yeah, of course, makes complete sense. Uh, you can only use your character and borrow your companion's powers. Okay, makes sense. Sounds good. Although I'm still not sure what this does. Electrokinesis. Having this many subs is also a big responsibility. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, it is, but at the same time... I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident because I try to be as honest and transparent as possible, so... Big responsibility, but I trust myself <laughs> to handle it for now. Sup, Jerin Jivang? How's it going, man? Resting pepperonis, Uncle Ben? Yeah, yeah. F. F's in the chat for Uncle Ben. F's in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, very well optimized so far. I mean, we're at 1440p, guys, so definitely so far so good. On 1080p, we got over 60 with the highest settings all the time. Okay, I'm saving. All right, let's go. Hopefully, up, up, after this, we go back to the city. I want to double check the city location. Okay, more enemies. Yeah, let's let's reload the previous save. Let's check out the city once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about the tutorials for now. Uh, where is the load game? Oh, I gotta go back to the options to the title menu. Gotcha. Request cutting pache, Uncle Ben. Yeah. Well, this game ran better on GT ten thirty or RX five fifty. Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably the GT 1030 in this case because it's an Unreal Engine 4 game, so wouldn't worry. Wouldn't worry. Wouldn't, wouldn't doubt it too much. Should be pretty easy to tell. Usually, Nvidia cards run better on Unreal Engine 4 titles in general. There are exceptions, but yeah. Okay, so the city. Yeah, it runs pretty similar to what I was doing right now into the 40s when looking into the distance so all right so far so good try it 4k you should get solid 30 yeah we're going to try that i was just about to do so i just wanted to double check with the city to see if there was a worse performance thing so let's pause the game and we're going into the options so in the options let's go to 4k we all love super sharp images hi it looks like near but more anime well that wasn't difficult at all so <laughs> yeah there you go i guess okay it's not solid 30 by any stretch of the imagination as you can see 4k max we are below 30 so what we're doing is lower the post processing that seemed to do the job just fine hang on I messed up there. <laughs> okay, back at 4K. Yeah, 20 frames at 4K, highest settings. But I mean, this is a new game on a 750Ti. I wasn't expecting much in that regard. So let's try medium post processing. We're aiming for 30 here, so... Okay, still not enough. Too many pixels, I would say. Medium shadows, low post... Let's put everything on low, except in the anti-aliasing. Because, you know, TAA looks good. Yeah, it looks super sharp. I mean, let me zoom in. <laughs> so you can see how sharp the image is. I mean, look at that detail. So many pixels. So yeah, that's not an excuse to get more audience retention time. But yeah, a lot of pixels at 4K. Hang on, I got a... Fix the transform, reset transform, there we go. So let's go to the lowest settings, now that we're here, we might as well. 
Okay. And um, thank you to Sebastian Pokora for becoming an awesome supporter 1.0. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I hope you enjoyed the icon next to your name and the emojis that come with it. That's a huge responsibility, you know. <laughs> o oh, no sé si hablas español. Muchas gracias Sebastián Pokora por aportar directamente al canal. Se agradece un montón. So guys, as you can see, on the lowest settings, we're getting <laughs> sharper than my future. <laughs> Got it, bro. Same. Same. We all been there. Yeah, definitely on the lowest settings, we're not getting 30s at 4k, which is fine. It's fine. Y yo vos, Danish Saman, con todo mi corazón y el resto de mi alma. Yeah, definitely not 30 frames. We're dropping there. So let's stay at uh, 1080p again. Then we go back to 1440p, but 1080p highest settings is already basically over 60 all the time, so shouldn't worry too much about it. So Sharpie got my eyes. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, that's why it hurts to look at some images. So yeah, we're in the highest settings, 1080p, and as you can see, 60 frames. Good stuff. So let's reload the previous save. Let's continue progressing through the story. And after that, we're swapping to the um, 570. I'm guessing that one will do 4K just fine. Uh, 1800p can hit 30 frames. Yeah, probably, but I'm not doing it today. So also, it's not in the menu for some reason. So yeah. Saludos mi rey, bueno, saludos Lisandro. <laughs> Espero que estés arrancando bien el día, depende en qué parte del mundo estés. So yeah, as you can see guys, in this part we're getting better frames than on the city, but a very few extra frames. I would say neg negligible, considering there is enemies on screen now and I'm dropping frames again. So yeah. GTX 1650 Super, yeah, it's coming. It's coming soon. There is this Linus Tech Tips video where they prove why 4K is useless for PC gaming. Useless... Well, it depends on your screen. Being useless, I think, is a strong word. I mean, who cares? Do whatever you want. <laughs> if you want to do 4K, I mean, even the new consoles are close to 4K. You can do in between 1440p and 4K and you're good to go. The images look super sharp. I mean, considering the distance you are from the screen, for me 4K is pretty useless because I'm sitting at arm's length to the screen at 1440p it looks amazing, so for me it's useless, but some people like to have super high resolutions, I don't know. Also Nvidia and AMD want to sell new GPUs, so 4K is kind of a necessity for them, I guess, for business. Looks very nice on 1050 Ti, yeah it does, it does. But continuing what I was talking about, the high resolution thing, I rather have good reconstruction techniques so the games look super sharp, super sharp, super um, non shimmery, if, it, if that makes any sense. So as long as the, as the game doesn't have a lot of shimmering, I'm good with the resolution that my screen can do. I mean, I play on 1080p, I don't even play at 1440p, personally. So yeah, 4K looks so good though. Yeah, it does look super sharp. But if you can get an upscaling technique that looks super good, it's not absolutely necessary. But yeah, personally, for me at least nowadays, it's not super necessary. I don't know, just my cup of tea, not my cup of tea. It's only useful for people who can afford RTX cards. Well, that's another thing. If you want to add ray tracing to the mix, 4K becomes super difficult to achieve. So I'd rather have a lower resolution and ray tracing. 4K still won't be a standard for a few years. Yeah, and I'm glad that's the case. Still, the most common resolution is 1080p, so... Oh, okay, I missed a quick time event. My bad. Was I didn't see it coming. Hello Santiago, good to see you, good mood, recently bought a 570, well, happy to hear that, enjoy that beast from AMD. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh no. I'm, I'm about to die. 
why you speak English in your videos? Because audience retention. Because most people that watch my videos do not speak Spanish, so why not do English? Also, it helps me practice my English, so win-win situation, at least for me. Playing GOW on my PS5 4K60 made me cry. I mean, it made me cry at, at 1080p as well. I mean, the story is so gripping, so personal. So, well, enjoy. God of War on PS5 at 60 frames 4K. Glad you enjoyed it. Good game. Windows 11 soon, yeah. Early 2022. Not so long now. Oh, I forgot to heal myself. There we go. Okay, go and reduce to atoms. Anybody else? No? I'm a little bit confused. Where do I have to go now? How much FPS for 1080p high settings? I mean, this game has low, medium and high. You cannot go higher or lower than that. So, if you go for high, well, this is high, actually. I put Ultra. Let's change the name. Let's call this Max. Not Ultra. <laughs> so you guys don't get confused. So high is the highest it can go. It cannot go higher than high. So we're over 60, basically. All the time. So it runs well. Runs pretty good. No complaints on performance so far. So once I get to another save point, guys, I'm going to swap to the 570, so yeah, I was looking at you. Well, thank you, sir, for watching. I understood that <laughs> it was a mistranslation, because always looking at me sounds a little bit creepy, but I know you've been watching. So thank you, man. Thanks for being here. Also, Santiago, you're supporting Spain, right, in Euro 2020. I don't support any, any team. I do not care about football. Like, at all. I know I'm from Uruguay and that's like a national treasure sport. But I do not care at all about sports in general. I mean, sports could end tomorrow and I wouldn't bat an eye. Nothing against sports, of course, but... Uh, I just... It just doesn't cross my mind. Uh, Santi, hola. ¿Qué dice Carlos Ortega? ¿Todo bien? Cuando piensas que las tarjetas de video están a precios accesibles estos últimos días y... No sé cuándo, pero espero que pronto. Play GTA 5. I already did. You can find my videos on it in the in my channel. I made multiple GTA 5 videos. It's like one of my most played games on the channel. Where to go? I'm confused. Where to? Oh, maybe down there? No. I think I'm missing something. Hang on. Oh, there we go. This way. The gameplay looks similar to uh, Fatal Bullet. No, Fatal Bullet, Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet controls nothing like this. And in this case, I'm liking it more. It's like a more agile Code Bane, but it has Devil May Cry kind of combat, so I'm, I'm liking it so far. Is this game interesting? I'm liking the combat so far, yeah. Super smooth. Kind of souls like, but not as heavy. Super fast paced. So I'll say this is more like Devil May Cry, but more anime. So yeah, let's go for the 570 now. Now that we're here, we might as well. So let's swap GPUs. Hi guys, I'm here. Let's turn the PC off. Uh, we swap to the 570. So one second, guys. Almost there. Story of this game is kinda corny though. Well, it's anime. What were you expecting? <laughs> Nothing against anime, of course, but uh, you know what you're getting into. Come on. If you know about this game's existence, you know what you're getting into. Okay. Don't count on gripping story played for the gameplay. Yeah, exactly. My thoughts. 570. Let's go. Right. 
said HDMI. And boom, it's on. Windows 11. Yeah, early 2022. Combat is really good when I played the demo on my PS5. Yeah, the combat is good. It reminds me of Devil May Cry. But yeah, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> it feels like a little bit heavier Devil May Cry. Are you going to test Elden Ring next year? Yeah, of course, man. I'm a huge fan of Dark Souls and Souls games in general, so... Super looking forward to Elden Ring, yeah. It feels like open world Dark Souls, open world Dark Souls. Hi, big Dark Souls. <laughs> That's what it feels like, from the trailers at least. Unpopular opinion, story is better than gameplay. Okay, yeah, it's an unpopular opinion, I would say. It depends on the game, of course, but uh, yeah. You could say that, that it's an unpopular opinion. Okay, one second guys, I think I forgot to install the drivers for the 570, that's great. That means that we'll, hear, we'll be here waiting for like 10 minutes. Allow me one minute, I'm turning the PC off from the, from the thing here, the power supply. And we turn it back on. Have you, turn, have you tried turning it on and back off? Got my PC facing the same side as anti low with open case. Well, that's the only way to do it, man. Sorry to disappoint people that have their PCs closed. I mean, it's not closed because I, it's easier to just swap them right away. So yeah. Yeah, I think I forgot the drivers. I think. I left them at home. <laughs> Mom, can we get drivers? No, son, we got drivers at home. Drivers at home. No signal. Yeah, sometimes I forget to install the drivers and I get no image for my capture card. So yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try using the DisplayPort thing. So allow me a second, guys. Yeah. No, it was not plugged in all the way in. That's why I wasn't getting it. Yeah, sometimes it happens that if I don't plug it all the way in by accident, of course, I do not get an image. So, we try it one more time, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to check if the drivers are installed. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Windows 11 health check showing doesn't meet requirements. Uh, yeah, check on Reddit. There is a way to enable something in BIOS because there is a requirement in the um, in your BIOS configuration. So yeah, what is the most expensive GPU you have? 1650 Super at the moment. I got the same black PS4 controller on my desk too. Yeah. Power to the players. <laughs> that sounded terrible. Anyway. Hang on guys, going to check with the display port once more. One second. And I'm going to reboot because sometimes that's what it takes. Yeah, most expensive I bought was a 2060, yeah. Saludos bro, bueno, saludos nadie. <laughs> Um, ¿Qué regulares tenés? ¿Los recomendás? Sí, tengo unos HyperX Cloud 2 o Cloud Core. Eh, son muy cómodos, así que sí, los recomiendo ampliamente. Uh, sí, los HyperX inalámbricos son caros. Sí, son muy caros. Ok, the software is installed. Not sure why it wasn't showing up with the image. So I'm going to go back to the HDMI. I'm praying to the gods of thunder that I get an image from my capture card. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Okay, finally, we are good to go. Let's double check the, I'm going to check if the drivers are the latest ones. So recommended plus optional. Okay, no new drivers. Good, good. Let's get into the game then. Boom. Scarlet Nexus.
No, I wasn't sorted properly. Sometimes my HDMI cable gets weird. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> it happened too many times in the past. Yeah, no homo, Santa is handsome, lol. Well, thank you. Oh, stop it, you. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, this is the 570, not the 1050 Ti. Hang on. There we go. So we're on the highest settings, as you can probably notice, because it's on the screen. So highest settings, 1080p, let's go. We're going straight away to the part that we were at, so we can continue with the story. Is your name Santiago twice, or that's just for the channel? My name is Santiago once, but it sounded better if it was there twice, so... I don't know, it was just a silly name I thought about, and I said, hey, let's put my name twice. I'm bored. And it ended up sticking there. So, yeah, it was a lucky, lucky coincidence. Uh, buenas, bro, ¿qué procesadores estás usando las pruebas? Está toda la descripción. Guys, if you want to know what I'm using, everything is in the description. Everything, everything, everything is down there. ¿Crees que lo corro la 750Ti? Sí, sin dudas. Voy a hacer un video sobre eso más tarde. Yeah, we get over 90 frames of the highest settings, so... Yeah, 1440p is probably going to be alright. I'm guessing. How long do you think the 570 can keep up for gaming? Like, you need soon upgrade? I mean, I don't know. I guess as long as the PS4 is a thing, we should be good to go. Maybe even longer. Pull down a special blah 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 and slam it into another unit. Preci precise timing. Okay, these are the quick time events I was checking out before that I failed. Okay, good. If it's the water tank on the other bag, we might be able to use it. Oh yeah, sure. Let's do the quick time events. Oh, okay, there's no quick time events on this one. Yeah, sometimes when you do the left trigger thing, it has a very quick quick time event. A very fast quick time event. So yeah, it runs ultra wide. I think ultra wide is not supported, not sure. But I didn't see the option in the menu, so... Maybe it's not supported, who knows. Che maestro, ¿qué tal está el juego? Por ahora bastante bien, es como Devil May Cry anime. Can I for core for threat CPU handle this game? Yeah, it should be fine. The CPU usage on this one is 23%, so it's probably going to be 50% of your 4 core for threat CPU being used. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Oh no. Almost got it. I have to draw him to the to this place. Come on. Come here, man. There we go. A truck in your face. Bam. Dead, reduced to atoms. There we go. Yeah, I think that this doesn't have any damage. I have to destroy, destroy him with all these trucks. So I'm going to wait for that. Where are you from? I'm from Uruguay. I still live there. It's my home country. And I'm staying there for my whole life, I think. I think. Love you, creep up the contents coming. I'm literally skipping my online class to watch this live. This live. Well, do not skip your classes, guys. Do your homework. Sleep early. Be healthy. <laughs> but thanks for being here, man. <laughs> but don't forget your classes. Those are important. It's good to have fun, but classes are also important, every once in a while. Me recuerda más a Nier por la waifu. Y sí, básicamente. Y está bien. No me quejo para nada, al contrario. Es bienvenido. Ok, I think it's gone. Yep, dead. Gave me a shroud, a shroud out. <laughs> no, no shout outs. Screw that. Screw shout outs. Those do not work and are annoying. But as long as you don't spam, I'm okay. I don't mind. Okay, I gotta go somewhere else. 
Let's go to the main street again. Las clases en la auto se quedan a pedazos, sí, literal. You sound like my mom. Well, good. Good. I mean, sometimes they know what they're talking about. Sometimes. All right. Yeah, it's like over 80 frames on 1080p. There's even screen space reflections. So, yeah. Um, okay. Let's just go to 1440p then. Hopefully we can do 60s by lowering the post-processing, but hey, what language are you speaking? That was Spanish, but I usually speak English in the channel, <laughs> so don't worry. Okay, 1440p maximum, and we're also good, apparently. We're probably dropping below 60 when fighting, but that's alright. Looks super sharp. Let's see if we can stay over 60, or close to 60 at 1440. If that doesn't work, we're lowering the post process into medium. That should be good enough, I'm guessing. Justo tiempo, ya quiero ese juego. Bueno, acá está. <laughs> here, here it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Spanish. For the people that don't know, my native language is Spanish. You probably notice it because of my accent. My accent is not British or American. I'm just... Something in between that doesn't have a name. That's because I'm from South America. So usually people that speak Spanish have an odd accent for English. Bro, I got two ads today. You, you will buy a new game. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Los juegos de Play 2 no tienen configuración. Va a ir bien en normal. Ah, todo en alto a 60. Sí, por ahora sí. En este caso. Pero si emuladores no tienen ajustes gráficos, tienen resolución nomás. Is this game online? I'm not sure. I think not. I don't think so. Okay, where to? Kikuchiba. We go to Kikuchiba. To the sub-level underground facility. Ya yo sabía por Santiago. Y sí, sí, eso ya era más que evidente. <laughs> I have a 4K monitor with a 1650 Super, which is nowhere near capable, but I can still play one of my favorite Call of Duty Modern Warfare series at 4K, so am I. Yeah, and also if you want to play this game, on the 1650 Super I'm guessing that 30 frames at 4K is very easy to do. Whoa, this part looks super good. I'm liking the aesthetics on this one. It's like a cyberpunk Yakuza 0 map. <laughs> Reminds me of that. Enemies! Destroy! Waifus came, destroyed the enemies. Where are you from? Siempre quise saber dónde eras desde hace como tres años. Y me hubieras preguntado, o sea, <laughs> estoy acá, <laughs> en Uruguay. It's not online for ones who's asking. Okay, not online, guys. Single player game, which I'm glad. I love single player games. But yeah, so far at 1440p we're dropping into the 50s when there's effects close to the camera. Or... Yeah, not close to the camera. It's pretty far away, actually. But when effects show up, it drops into the 50s, as you can probably notice. So let's drop the post-process into medium. That should give us a good boost. Let's see if we can stay over 60. Okay, no. Still below 60, although we're closer, so that's good. Hang on. Let's put shadows on medium, post-processing on low. That probably gets rid of ambient occlusion. Yeah, it does. But it's a good improvement. Now we're over 60, so... We're doing, what, 1440p... 1440p mid-shadows. And low post-processing. So, that's good. 
So medium shadows, low post processing, 1440p. Remember guys, aiming for 60 frames in combat. If you're on, on the highest, you're going to drop below 60. I still drop below 60 a bit, but yeah. We're going to see once we get into other locations. But overall, the game runs great. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much about it. 1440p though looks so sharp. But the post processing on low gets rid of ambient occlusion, I'm thinking. Brain crush. Blah. Um, the game on laptop version of 1054 gigabytes runs at 39 to 45 and lag if you go to new area. Well, that's sad to hear, but it kind of makes sense. Boom. Dead. Reduced to atoms. Destroy the brain! Blech. Is this game as good as Nier series? I mean, they're completely different games. So, no, no, no point in comparing them, but they control very differently. And Nier has like an existential crisis to its story, which this one probably doesn't have, who knows. Game seems fun and runs pretty good. Yeah, so far it's fun, I'm liking the combat. Pretty interesting. Reminds me of Devil May Cry. But it has some extra powers that are always welcome. Like this one, the telekinesis thing. Okay, I need to crush the skulls. Gotcha. Let's use the left trigger thing that has a quick time event. Come on, this way, sir. I need you here. This game have multiplayer, as far as I know it's single player only. There we go, quick time event, bam, destroyed. Dead. Do you return games after dusting them? No, real, in general no, because I play more than two hours for the dusting, so no. No returns, <laughs> no refunds. I used to do that at the beginning, because I didn't, but I didn't spend that many hours playing them, so... Yeah, nowadays that's one of the big issues of my channel. That's why I try to get more GPUs, so I get more mileage out of my games. Because they're super expensive. But in general I have a friend or two that buy a game that they like. So I can borrow it from them. For the testing. But in general no refunds because yeah, I play more than two hours, so no way to do it. <laughs> Microsoft finally announced Windows 11, let's go! Hell yeah! Yeah, I'm super excited for that. It will be more early 2022 for me at least. Once that update comes to everyone. We are, we are changing to it. Because gaming. So yeah. Extra powers as well as waifus. Hell yeah. Great combination. I already got it, not that fun right now as many of my apps do not work as they are supposed to. Well, one thing is to try Windows 11 and another thing is trying a leaked build. I mean, I'm talking about early 2022 uh, at the latest. I mean, if, if the progress is fast, it's 2022. So yeah, we are not doing Windows 11 for a while. Okay, where to go? I'm guessing to the left. Yeah, I think it's the left. Are there... Are, I don't know what that... Oh, who's playing this obscure band and anime game? It's released multiple times a year. There's people that like them. Don't judge, man. Some people like waifus each year. There's people that buy FIFA each year. So, those are the worst. <laughs> but still... That's not a bad thing. They are completely free to do so if they want to. Is Windows 11 going to be a free update? Yeah, they already said so. Although not everyone will support it. 
And by everyone I mean not all PCs will be compatible, which kind of makes sense. It's a, a new update that uses different components. But it's what's going to happen eventually, so... As long as we get more performance, I'm good. And I like the idea to have direct storage on PC, so we can launch our games super fast on SSDs. ¿Ya probaron la 1650 Super? Todavía no. Ya casi, ya casi. So guys, for um, 1440p, my advice would be to keep it on the highest. Like this. You drop below 60 sometimes, but it's manageable and you get better visuals, so... 1440p you can do 60s on low post processing medium shadows. But overall, keep it on the highest. It stays close to 60, close enough. And it looks much better because ambient occlusion. So yeah, let's go 4K now. Boom, 4K. Why are you not replying, bro? Because I cannot play, read, and do everything at the same time. Sometimes I miss some comments. But if you're expecting me to respond to every single comment, well, sorry to disappoint you, but that's not going to happen. So we're doing medium settings here. At 4K. Hopefully we can stay over 30. We'll see. Okay. Over 30. Good. Good, good, good. Super sharp. Auto HDR. Yeah, I don't care about auto HDR. I don't have an HDR screen. Proper HDR is super expensive on monitors at the moment, so... But I'm glad that that technology is getting better support, don't get me wrong, but... It just doesn't affect me, like, at all. We are flex, but okay. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, Matt, Matt. Yeah, I wish... Hopefully you can run it, man. Your 3090 is going to... To be struggling when playing at 8K. By borrowing the invisibility power and banishing, you will go undetected by enemies. You can sneak to the enemy's weak point and attack. Okay. Roger that. Well, thanks, Jackson Thibes or Thibs. Let's be invisible. I banished. I'm invisible and boom. Destroy the weak points. Yeah, what a weird... Um, what a weird where we are the thing to be invisible in a game like this. Okay, it's dropping below 30. That's not good. Yeah, when effects show up it kinda drops. We'll see if this is only a one-time thing. But as I was saying, what a weird power to have to be invisible in a game like this. Yeah, probably low post processing is necessary here. So, low post processing. There's not going to be ambient occlusion, probably. I will get a good performance boost. So, medium shadows. Low post processing. There we go. Hace un test de Black Desert Online algún día y se verá. Por el momento no, pero. Veremos en el futuro. Um, on topic of Windows 11, I'll probably wait until it's stable. If performance is significantly better, I won't upgrade for a while. Well, that's what most people is going to do, so... That's not a bad plan. That's the best way to, to approach it, really. Post-processing the old bill and is back. Yeah, good old post-processing on Real Engine 4 games. Let's be invisible, because why not? Let's get to the weak points. Although I'm still kind of kicking his ass, so... I'm not sure what I, I'm supposed to do. Probably... Oh, never mind. It was up there. The light bulbs at the sides weren't the weak point, apparently. Hey brother, what's up? I'm here, just having some fun. What about you, man? <laughs> having a good day? Yeah, 
Let's be invisible. Okay, there we go. Old triangle. To execute a backstab. Oh, okay, there is backstabbing. Now the invisibility makes sense. That wasn't a backstab, though. Yeah, I'm a little confused. When will WB strike this game as they stole school school crawlers? What? What do you mean? They stole school. They they ugh, stole skull skull crawlers. What is that? Never heard about it before. A platoon member is in danger, and I wouldn't care at all. Me also having fun with you. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for being here, man. I appreciate that. Let's do another backstab. Recharge. Ugh. Kamehameha! Yeah, it, it looks just like it. Just like Kamehameha. Hello Santiago, hey Unlike, how's it going? Been playing Scarlet Nexus all morning, really fun game. Yeah, so far I'm liking the game, it's pretty fun. It reminds me of Devil May Cry a lot, in a good way. Kamehameha! Okay, dead. Reduced to Adam, the English voice acting sucks compared to the Japanese. Well, that's a trend in general, so good thing I put it on Japanese right away for you guys. You usually ask me to put the voices in Japanese, so here it is. Ah, you haven't seen Monster Monsterverse movies then. I saw Kong and Godzilla, but those are the only ones I know about. Never heard about anything else. Mid-level shopping district. Hell yeah, let's go shopping. Original dub all the way. Hell yeah. But as always guys, the at 4K this game looks amazing. Well at 1080p as well, but I mean the sharpness. So many pixels. Let me let me show you that again, zooming in. Since I can do that. There's so much detail, it's super sharp. I don't know. That's usually things I like to look at. Looks great at 4K. Usually games like have cell shading such as this one looks great on high resolutions. In general. And this is one of them, so good. Alright. Have you tried Windows Mini OS 10? <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't. I don't know what that's all about. Intro please. Hello everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Waifu Scarlet Nexus on the 1050 Ti 570 1650 Super and yada yada yada. Okay. Watch TV. No, I already have that at home, thanks. Let's save the progress. And we're doing now the 1650 Super, which I'm guessing that is going to be 4k 30 on the highest i punched my monitor so now i am stuck with 64 megabytes of vram gpu okay sorry to hear that man best of luck to you sounds like a bad time uh are you planning to get another gpu no at the moment no too expensive Money is an issue. I have too many GPUs, actually. Okay, so back to swapping GPUs now. Sorry about the, the sun. The sun is too shiny where I live. Uh, Steam cell got me broke. LMAO, what did you buy? <laughs> what did you guys buy? Yeah, guys, what did you buy on the Steam summer sale? If you got something. 
In the meantime, I'm swapping GPUs. So 570, eject. 570, let's put it aside. Time for the 1650 Super. Here we go. All right, there it goes. Uh, what do you pick, Santiago? 4K30 or 1440p, 1080p60? 1440p, 1080p60, all the way. It depends really well. If it's a game that doesn't have action like at all, that it doesn't have real-time combat, then 4K30 is fine. 1440p60, I would say, is the best at the moment. And 1080p60 is appreciated and it's the standard for me, at least. I mean the standard. I I think that 1080p60 is good. I don't need more than that personally. 144 Hz is good also, but a little too expensive on the hardware side of things. Expensive, I mean, it requires a lot of CPU power in many games. Good, some oldies from GOG summer sales. Good to know. Good to know. GOG is great. Yeah. I might get affiliate links for GOG. Who knows? All right, we're back into it. Let's go back. Boom. Here we are. So 1650 Super. Let's launch the game. And oh, I forgot to change the GPU. This is a 1650 Super and it will be 1080p max which will be good to go i mean the 1050 di did 60 frames pretty easily so yeah same here wolfenstein those wolfenstein 2 and gridfall jumping in late but they are great yeah those are great games wolfenstein 2 is one i really really like i'm a huge fan of shooters so kind of makes sense let's get into the game yeah, let's go back to the part we were a second ago. I bought GTA 6, but it turned out to be stupid. <laughs> well, t let's talk about it later. Okay, so... Where to now? That's a nice kitchen. Okay, where to now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, word map. There you go. Oh, no, I just have to be in the living room. Okay. Good, good, good. Good work out there. It's very impressive what you were able to come out. Blah, blah, blah. Bond episode. Hmm. That doesn't sound dirty at all. I'm going to cover my <laughs> cover my channel from demonetization. Let's stay away from the Bond episode. That doesn't sound like family friendly content. Is this single player MMO or multiplayer? This is single player. Okay, where to now? What do I have to do? Searching for freedom. Okay. Maybe in the world map. No, I have to be in the living room for some reason. Maybe I had to do the Bond episode. Investigate. Wow, a table. Oh, there you are. Yeah, Bond episode. Here we are. Arsa reminds me of Neuro Tomata. Now, Neuro Tomata is more. It has more realistic traits to it. This is more anime style. Neuro Tomata is more. A little bit more realistic, to say it in some way. Is this open world? No, it has multiple maps that are open. Yeah, I mean, look at that performance, 100 FPS on the high s highest settings on 1080p. No surprise, really. 
I lock FPS to 40, 45, then you'll be just fine, man. You'll be just fine. I personally always lock my frame rates and say hate screen tearing. Makes sense. That's a valid opinion, I'd say. This is standard 3D anime, <laughs> anime game graphics. Yeah, but it's still shaded as well. But Nier Automata is not as cell shaded. It's a different art style all, all the way. This is closer to Borderlands than Nier Automata. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. It's more like God Eater. Yeah, exactly. God Eater. Similar to that. Background similar color to Gravity Rush. There are so many similarities with so many games. But yeah, this is, again, more Borderlands graphics-wise than Nier Automata. Oh yeah, Gravity Rush, you're, you're right, yeah, now I see it. Makes sense. Is Nier Automata still your favorite game? It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I have many favorites. I mean, up there is Dark Souls 1, Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory... Hitman. There's many favorites. I wouldn't pick one game. One game is just... It wouldn't be honest if it was only one game. Oh yeah, Nier Automata is up there for me with Dark Souls 1 and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. They still haven't updated Nier Automata Steam despite stating so on the Steam forum. Well, once it happens I'll be here testing it. That's for sure. Yeah, I agree on the Gravity Rush comparison, much like that. Yeah, especially those towers in the distance. And the big city thing environment. Oh, I'm about to die. Hang on. I need to pay attention. Oh man, I hate the, the, sh the electricity thing. Yeah, of course I died. I couldn't move with electricity on my body. Are you having fun though? Yeah, yeah, I'm liking the game so far. I like the combat. Why do people even buy 3060 for gaming? I don't know. Just because. Just cause. <laughs> See what I did there? Chaos Theory was the first game I played on my GTX 260. Yeah, great game. When she borrows Judo's psychokinesis, her own psychokinesis is enhanced. She can use attacks without consuming the... Oh, okay. Interesting. I should have read that before. We have made things easier. So we do the field. Boom. Come on, field. Oh, alright. <laughs> That's why I died. I didn't use that superpower. Expensive GPUs are needed for tasks like rendering. Yeah, but for gaming as well. Rendering is a good plus, though. Alan, no ¿Qué dice? ¿Todo bien? Well, I feel like something's really off. Panda Namco makes an MMO game. What do you mean? This is not an MMO. Hey, Had Hadjian Alfradizi. How's it going, man? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the live stream. How's it going? Die! Yeah, that's so satisfying. Those special attacks that just wreck havoc. I like that. Nothing wrong with 3060. If you've seen the Mesh Shader benchmark, you will only gain performance in the future as more games adopt Mesh Shader feature. Yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to in new games. Alright, 1080p is fine, guys, as you can probably notice. So, what we're doing now is um, 1440p. I'm guessing that we're getting 60s on the highest settings at 1440p in this game. So, yeah, the Shadow Run trilogy is free on GOG, by the way, guys. Let's check. Let's double check if that's true. I'm guessing that yes, but who knows. 
yeah, the Shadowrun trilogy is free on GOG, guys. I'll leave a link in the description for for you to claim it in the description in the in the chat. So, guys, there's a free game. Go for it, grab it, enjoy it. In the meantime, let's continue with the game. So, 1440p max now. Again, considering how it performed on the 570, I'm guessing this will be 60 frames on the highest settings. There you go, yeah. Over 60. Yep, it's Tess up there. Whoa. No, don't kill me now. I'm so tired of the electricity attacks from the enemies. I cannot move. I hate it. I hate that. Have you tested Shadowrun before? No, never. I never played that. Okay, where's my psychokinesis power? Okay, finally. I can do some damage. I could... I could, I would probably buy a 3060 or 3070 if you keep a 1440p 60 target, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, already on a 1660 Super you can do 1440p on multiple games, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. My backlog is bigger than my future, but my free game is a free game, yeah. Exactly. That's the spirit. That's how you do it. Yeah, as always, guys, a free game is a free game. Never tried that game before, but you add it to your library right away. That's how that's how you do things in life. You just grab the free game no matter what. Even if you won't play it and you just will have it sitting there in your library, boom. Hey, Jim76UH. How's it going, man? Welcome back. Donde so something to do away. Can't complain about free. Yeah, exactly. My thoughts exactly. Where can I download the game? You mean the free game? Link in the comment. I did a few minutes ago. Okay. What now? What am I missing? Oh. No. Yeah, I cannot break through it. Maybe something up there? No. Oh, never mind. I was meant to go the other way. I think. Or not. Yeah, the running reminds me so much of near Automata. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Hello from Brazil. Hello from Uruguay. Mister. When universe gives you free things, you take them. Yeah. Yeah. Once the universe starts giving you free stuff, I mean, you just, you won't turn them down. I mean, why would you? You have nothing to lose. Just a few clicks. I mean, you already waste time worrying about stupid things. Why not waste time adding a free game you're never going to play to your library? I mean, we waste time on so many stupid things. You might as well. Open the map. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see the tiny the tiny corridor there in the map. My bad. Brazilians rise up. Hell yeah. Those are my neighbors. Brazil is just next to my country, so hell yeah. Be safe. FSR will help extend the life of so many GPUs. Yeah, it depends on the game really. And if it's implemented. Okay, going up the elevator. They just released the anime Scarlet Nexus. Wait, is this based on an anime or this is just... A game created outside of something that already existed. I'm kind of confused. They're never going to play parties so real. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically my life. I mean, some people even buy games and never play them. It happened to me a couple times. Veo tus videos para elegir specs desde hace tres años mínimo. Bueno, lejos, se agradece un montón. Me alegro que te haya sido de utilidad. Uruguay, 
wins the American Cup, Uruguay gana la Copa América. Nah. Nah. Y si ganamos, va a ser de casualidad. Pero, o sea, el tema es que a mí no me interesa. Entonces es como, eh. No creo. Hey, maybe you played and enjoyed it. I remember they gave Metro 2033 five to six years ago and I had an absolute blast with it. Yeah, I mean, if I'm in a good mood, I open a game I know nothing about. One of those free games I added in the past, but that's quite rare. Quite rare. Saludos de Brasil aquí. Bueno, saludos. Brasilero hermano. Hermano de Brasil. I hope you're having a great day, man. Telekinesis Field. Die, everyone. Yeah, this is the best attack in the game so far. And thank you so much. Aditya Tambe for the 20 Indian Rupees donation. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it a lot. How are you doing? Nothing to say in your donation, man. <laughs> I'll be happy to hear from you. So, I don't know. Write something. <laughs> you're not... You're not uh, I'm not forcing you to do so, but... Thank you, man. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. I wish I had the money to buy games and not play it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I bought games to test on the channel, but ended up not touching them. So that sometimes happens. It's a, it's a very first world problem. But I'm in a third world country, so it doesn't make sense. In carajo está rechazando juegos gratis. Seguro no es latinoamericano. Literal. Literal. I wonder if it will run pretty good on a 1070. Yeah, of course, man. It will be 1440p, 60 without a da without a doubt. Santiago you sounded like an 80 Brazilian for a second there. <laughs> well, good, good. Yeah, I'm good at I'm good at um, at accents sometimes. If it's something I'm familiar with, and Brazilians are so close that uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of makes sense. Okay, let's go to the main street just to see how um, how it runs at 1440 once more. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. 1440p max settings, 60 frames. No problem. So yeah, not gonna lie, I really like your channel and videos. I have a 1650 super. Well, good to know, man. And thanks again for the donation. It's super appreciated. Thanks to that I can keep doing videos like this. Eh, no, el juego no es gratis, pero hay un juego gratis en GOG ahora mismo. Alrighty, Santiago, enjoy your stream. Cheers. Well, thanks for being here and like. Have a good one. See you next time. So yeah, 1440p, 60 on the highest settings. Let's go 4K now. You know, the super... The super r big resolution nowadays. Yeah, over 30. So <laughs> don't worry, guys. 4K maximum settings is 30 frames, at least right now. We'll see once we get into combat. But uh, yeah, just fine. No issues whatsoever at 4K. Is it me or YouTube is stuttering after Windows update? It stuttered for me since the beginning, YouTube, so. Not sure if it's a Windows update or something in, in, in my computer especially, but it's been happening for a while, so yeah. I seen you live in a long time, so I immediately clicked. Well, <laughs> thanks for being here, man. Santiago, ¿una vez has visitado algún lugar de Brasil? Sí, fui a las cataratas. Yeah, for the people that ask me in Spanish if I ever been to Brazil, yeah, I've been. I've been to Foz de Iguazú. Not sure if it's pronounced like that. So yeah, I've been to Foz de Iguazú. Good place. Pretty happy with the with the waterfalls. Pretty crazy big waterfalls there. Yeah, let's do a bond episode. YouTube is never working as expect as expected. Well, yeah, exactly. 1440p max with a 1650 super, that's really easy to run, man. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's 1080p 60 on a 1050 Ti on the highest settings, so no surprises. Increase SAS, recovery speed, and guardian vision. Yeah, yes, please. Let's do that. All right. 
Me gustaría conocer Montevideo. Sí, está bueno. Deberías venir, pero... Vení armado porque está complicado. A veces el crimen. This game is surprisingly well optimized. True. True, true, true. Ok, who do I need to talk to now? Is it you? Not you. Is it you? Not you. Come to India. It's pretty far away. I'll wait for, for the virus to end. And I might go there. I'm usually more of a cold climate kind of guy. I prefer to be... I want to know what snow is like. So yeah. Oh, I gotta look at the table again, really. Oh, what a nice table. Yeah, I think I should rest, yeah. Rest in that black sofa. What do you think about the blue protocol? Don't know what that is. Or at least not by name. Anime games coming out well optimized make me happy. Well, good. Yeah. Usually animated ga anime games are the ones that are easiest to disguise for better performance. So Yeah, this is a good a good performing one so far. Let's go to the trading exercise. I'm an hour and a half into the live stream. Guys, after I play a little bit more, I'll finish the live stream. We saw the three GPUs I wanted to test. I'm going to record 750 Di and, and 1052 gigabytes and all that. So you should be getting more um, more videos soon. So yeah. I think it beats barely using 50% of the GPU most of the time. Such a good feeling. Yeah, not breaking a sweat. You wouldn't get cold weather in India unless you go to North India. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Very close to those big mountains. So, yeah. Oh, Blue Protocol is the only MMO I'm excited about. Okay, no, I, I never know about MMOs, so... Yeah, I didn't hear about it before. Haven't heard about it before. Maybe try it, K to see how much is it optimized. Nah, I'm fine. Not today. I'm not in the mood. I've been enjoying Final Fantasy XIV lately. Yeah, they are saying it's a pretty good game. I heard good things about it as an MMO. But since I'm not into MMOs in general, I tend to not know anything about them. By borrowing pyrokinesis, flames engulf weapons and PK objects for the attack. Okay. Sounds good. Pyrokinesis! Burn in hell! Fuel pool. Okay. So when fire effects show up, it's more of a... More taxing on the GPU, but overall we stay over 30, so... No worries. Do you enjoy playing puzzle games? Sometimes. In general, I... I keep puzzle games as a plus. What I mean by that is... In general, the puzzles I like completing are in... Resident Evil games, super simple stuff, that are not actually puzzles. But sometimes puzzle games are good, yeah. But it's pretty rare that I play a puzzle game. By borrowing Clavor Clavoroyan's power, you can detect invisible enemies. Oh, there's invisible enemies, okay. <laughs> it's introducing new stuff constantly. Where's the invisible enemies, so... Oh, there he is. Boom, burn in hell. So early, just having my breakfast. Yeah, today I did it early because... I woke up early, so I said, eh, what the heck, let's stream it. Runs super well. How are you doing, Hido? Hope you're doing well, man. Good seeing you here. Kind of makes sense. Here it's 11.38, so... In about 30 minutes I'm going to have lunch. I'm an early lunch type of guy. What's your opinion on Battlefield 2042? Looks pretty good. It looks like an improved Battlefield 4, so... I'm all into that. So yeah, super looking forward to it.
Oh, there's an invisible enemy. That is not really invisible. Yeah, those quick time events are pretty <laughs> out of the blue. Are you using the PS5 controller? No, not anymore. I got rid of it because I heard about the drifting issues and I said, hey, I'd rather use a cheaper controller instead. So I sold it and I'm using the PS4 controller now. It's a cheaper controller, at least in my country, and it already drifts, so whatever. <laughs> I just hit it a little bit on the right stick on the table and it's good to go. What do you have in lunch? Not sure today. I'll see. I maybe get some takeaway. It's Friday. I like to get some takeaway. Maybe sushi or or walk. Yeah, I'm already hungry by thinking about it. Resident Evil 4 made me fear invisible enemies for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. True. That's so real. Yeah, so far the only drops below 30 are when those companion characters show up on screen. And by showing up on screen I mean when I do this. That's where it drops. Other than that it's fine. Love from toilet? Well, <laughs> good to know. Have a good uh, pooping experience. Mounds make this a very cultured game. Yeah, it's part of the it's part of the experience. That's why I use headphones. I don't want to make people uncomfortable. <laughs> so if you're using speakers in a in a place where your family members are nearby, well, good luck playing this game. It's like playing Tomb Raider. The mounds are just yeah. Without context, it sounds so dirty. Especially Tomb Raider. The um, 2013 Tomb Raider. Code Code Vein 2 sería en este caso. Pero no jugué mucho God Eater, así que no, 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 no tengo mucha autoridad para hablar de eso. I guess so. Turn it up. Nah, I'm good. You can turn it up on your own, man. You know how that works. Okay. 750 I should run this game just fine. Yeah, should be okay. Oh, I forgot to heal myself. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. I love you guys. <laughs> can the 570 handle this 1080p high 60 frames? Yeah, easily. You can rewind the live stream to find it. The 570 ran this game just fine, no issues whatsoever. You can even do 1440p on the 570 without an issue. So yeah, I'll, I'll never play this at the living room. At least not with, with speakers. Just use headphones and you're good to go. Oh, okay. So guys, I think I had enough for today. Thank you so much for watching this live stream. Hang on, I gotta finish the live stream correctly. Because, you know, audience retention. So, thank you guys so much for watching this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it as, as much as I did playing it. I hope you, if you get this game, that you enjoy it as well. And also, there's a free game on GOG. Just go to GOG, scroll down a little bit, and you should be seeing the free game there. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Love you all. See you next time. Thank you. See you later. And yeah, the FSR update for RE8. I'm going to test it once it releases. See you guys. Thank you. Have a good week.